Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick flip through of my planner and we're going to be looking at the month of May. If you want to see April, I did a reel on my Instagram. Um, the reason why I didn't do a flip through of April is because not much had changed during that month as far as like the layout and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> a little bit has changed for June, which is why I'm doing, I mean for May, which is why I'm doing a flip through. Uh, yeah, but for April, I didn't do one. But now I'm questioning whether I should have because it's going to go from, I think, February, March, then May. And I'm trying to decide if that's going to bother me or not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's just get right into this flip through. I actually really like the way May turned out. Uh, I was kind of like, did I know? I guess I've had these little washi booklets for a while. I think I started using, oh. Yeah, I started, oh, oh wow. I started using them in March, wait, oh my gosh, in February? Hmm. I guess I started using them in February. These little stickers right here. Then I found more booklets all through AliExpress. And I really like this month is just really simple. Um, yeah, we are doing May, right? I think I changed the layout like later on in the month. Oh, and then what I started doing was using my Crayola markers that I've had for like a year. I bought some Crayola markers and crayons like a year or so ago because I had got into coloring when I was working at um, a daycare. And I was like, oh, I want to color at home. So I bought them, but I haven't found a coloring book. I still go to the store and look every now and then. Or when I'm at the store, I'll look. But coloring books today seem so boring, so I don't know. I didn't want to throw them away. I didn't want to try to sell them. So I started using them to just kind of spice up my planner because I was getting a little bit bored. Uh, I actually need to highlight this line. But I have like a bunch of neutral, or they're called skin tone uh, markers, but they're just like neutral tone markers. And then I have some that are uh, more colors. And so I started using the markers to like kind of highlight little stuff. And then the markers that have more colors, I will just like um, draw a little square, kind of like a color palette type thing. You ever see those journaling accounts? Like they'll, they'll post something or they'll post a spread, but then they have like the colors, the uh, colors from the palette or the, I don't know how I'm trying to say this. They'll have colors that basically match the spread or that were used in the spread. Oh, goodness. Okay, so that's what I started doing and I really like it. I really like the washi booklets that I find. I actually have found some more that I will be getting pretty soon. It's quite sad actually. So I think if you're bored with your planner, you could always use some markers to, you know, spice things up. 
It makes it look like it's more full when they may not be. I just, I love this right here. This one I really don't like so much. I feel like it's kind of boring, but this one, I like this one a lot. So here is where I started the layout change. I stopped doing the uh, ideas side. So let me show you an example. So like over here, I would write ideas and then to do, but I would write ideas for like reels or YouTube videos. And maybe I'll show you guys this in the future, but I decided to use my olive for kind of like a um, video journal, I guess. So I can write down my ideas for reels and videos and stuff. In that in, in that journal I don't know why I'm struggling so much to talk this side I don't really like it I mean like I do but I feel like this is empty oh yeah okay so this did I mention this already is where I um, started doing the layout changes and I brought the line a little bit lower so I could like put stickers on the top because I was getting tired of always just putting them on the side or on the bottom. So that's there. I like that. I really like this spread. I like the color. The colors are there. They're nice. Oh, this is also a favorite of mine. And we're losing the direct sunlight. Um, again, it's the colors there. We have yellow, we have some orange and a little bit, a little, a little bit of pink and some, some beige in there. So that's really nice. I'm starting to say this every single video, but I really hope you guys can see it. Oh, this is the favorite again. It's just... I love, I am think I'm going to show you guys my markers after this. I love this color green. I think it's called turtle shell green. And it's such a nice, it's like a dark green, but it's not too dark. It's just perfect. And then this one I think is either, I think this green is asparagus green. So, yeah, I really like this. This side, I really enjoyed this one. Now, you know, I've, I've started doing some circles. I don't know, but I've been into circles lately, as you can see. Um, this is actually a mouse pad because I, my computer used to be on this desk which is like rectangle but I moved it to my circle table and the mouse pad that I had for my circle table was like square and kind of weird and not really fitting so I got I got this one and I like it a lot oh. <clears throat> and that is the end of this month I really like this sticker and like the colors is just chef's kiss. Now, I don't know how I'm going to decorate this page like I did in, let me see, I think it, January. I still haven't done March because March was kind of like a uh, very bland month for me. February didn't have one. They didn't have a blank page at the end. But January did. So I don't know how I'm going to do May. I feel like May was, I'll have to kind of go through what I did throughout that month to get the, the feel of how I would do a collage here. But for now, I'll leave that blank. And then I'll show you guys 
I haven't done much much um, in June just yet. I've just added a sticker. I might add some more. I just haven't figured out where. So before the sun goes down, let me show you guys my markers. So this is one of the packs I got. 24 markers, colors of the world, and they are. You can't. I can't hold it up this way, but they're just like almond, rose, and golden. Yeah. So you get like a, a variety of shades of almond, gold, and rose. And then when you open them, they come in like three little packs. And I'm gonna show you guys some. And that's what they look like on the back. And then the ones I keep in my tip, Delphonics pouch. Are these ones right here? So I have medium deep golden, light medium almond, medium golden, medium deep rose, medium almond, uh, light medium golden, and medium deep almond. And because I don't always remember what the colors will look like on paper, I did like a little, a little ratchet swatch. We'll call it the ratchet swatch. It's not like official. I, I just did it in the back of my, one of my notebooks and tore the pages out. But <clears throat> you can't even see up here. Well, partially because my hand is blocking the light. That was the box, not me, if you heard it. Uh, but this is very like golden. It's like blending in. So yeah, it just goes all the way down. Um, and then I did a little swatch of the pipsqueak markers that I'm about to show you. That I also keep in my Delphonics pouch. And <clears throat> this is what the box looks like for the mini markers. 64. I get all these colors back here. And I swatched all of these. And these are actually so fun to use in my planner. And this is the color I was telling you guys about. Turtle green. It's so beautiful. And then my other favorite is honey droplets. So I use these two the most. Honey droplets, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'll have to show you guys the colors like much better in a, in a different video. But honey droplets is like, it's so perfect. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been using to kind of bring some fun to my planner. I'm surprised I fit all this stuff in my pop in my pouch. And then to cut to um do like the little circles that I make with the colors. I bought this tracer. There was like big old oh my gosh. There were bigger circles on the bottom half but because I want this to fit in my Delphonics pouch because I usually write in my planner like in the bed and I was always like having to get up in and go through my drawer to get this so I just cut it in half so it could fit right in here with everything else and then I keep this right here in the back but anyway that was the flip through of May and I will see you guys for June and July I hope you like this video 
and I'll see you next time. Bye.